Join this simple video tutorial to create your Avunga Lake sunset painting. Let's start. We're going to use just basic color, primary colors, white, yellow, it's lemon yellow, this is red, I used crimson red, this is black and this is blue, just uh, cool blue, tallow blue. So we can use just primary paints. And this is my canvas panel is uh, 25 for 30 centimeters size. Go this way. Just three brushes, big size, medium size, flat, and small one. This is my brushes I'm using. Just water and paper towel. First of all, we start with dip our brush in the water and we start from a drawing line for our horizon line. You can just up. It's going to be our horizon line. It's going to be lots of yellow in our brush. Then we're going to mix some blue, blue and white a little bit of blue and white a bit darker blue and using horizontal brush stroke so we can use a bit of water just cover our sky then we're going to add more white make it lighter Make it lighter and just mix one color to another. Make it even lighter. Lighter. Here. Clean our brush, red in just white. Just white. Before we add yellow, we're gonna add white here because yellow and blue can make green color. We don't need green color for our sky. Just making this white. Every time, so I'll clean my brush, make sure clean your brush, mixing some orange, yellow, and just tiny bit of red, tiny, tiny bit of red, and a little bit of white. Make this orange color, we're gonna add this orange color next. More. Some more orange color, it's white. Spread this paint up till horizon line in your brush. Try it. We're going to add some more white in here, in between this blue and orange. Just blend it a bit more. Remember, we don't want any green here. Just blend it, make it soft blending. Then we bring, take our medium sized brush and we have just yellow and tiny bit of white. Make sure no blue, just white. And we're gonna add placement for sun somewhere here. It's gonna be our placement for sun. You can spread some of this. You see, because paint is wet, it's not working, not really working. So we can come back a bit later to this area. So we can add just white here. And we can come back to this area slightly later when it's a bit dried. We're going to do our lake next, lake color. We can still use medium sized brush and we can mix our blue, blue, tiny bit of white. And we need to make kind of gray color here. So we can add tiny bit of black, like grayish blue color. Can we get this color? It's 
spread some of this fresh blue paints. Okay, some more black, make it some darker, even darker, darker, darker. And then we're gonna add more white to make it lighter. Make it more lighter. Okay, spread. going to let it dry now you can use hair dryer or you can just wait maybe five minutes and it should be fully dried and we're going to continue so i have accidentally dropped here so we can add some more blue on top to cover it. okay let it dry and come and return later okay now it's fully dried we can add now we can add a uh, sun with a bit of white, I just added more white and tiny bit of yellow paints. And we're going to place it slightly up here. So my brush is a little bit blue. I'm going to clean it better. You can change water if you would like. So we're going to add white and yellow to this sun area. Sun area going to be white and yellow. And we're going to add some orangey colors around some more orangey some more orangey colors around just spread some of these colors around your yellow And we can add just a little touch of white here. It's where the like brightest spot. Then we can use this yellow and white and add some brush stroke to the lake. I'm using the edge of my brush. Just some brush strokes to the lake. It's highlight from the sun. We can also add some orange, orange beads. Also, we can add some white lines. Clean your brush, and with white, let's try some white brush strokes. Here we are. can start working with some black. I'm still using a medium sized brush, but if you're more comfortable, you can use smaller one. Just grab some black and actually a bit of red. I don't like straight black. I like to mix it with a bit of red. It's gonna be a kind of dark brown color. We're gonna add these mountains, not mountains, like bush on the back here. Remember there was the sun. Don't cover it full, just up here, this area. So this is our bush on a horizon line. Just cover this area. Remember there shouldn't be any yellow left. This should be up to the lake. This is a little bit of dubbing dubbing brush to on top because it's it's a bush. There's a bush up there. 
Then we're gonna add with this color, we're going to add land, land area. some bush like this and now we're going to add a tree you can see there is a big tree I'm not gonna add this stuff I'm not gonna add people I'm just gonna add this big tree starting from the bottom part I'm going to add trunks first slightly curly yeah this trunk going this way I'm using the edge of my brush putting some branches over there Can move the smaller size brush next, a bit of water, and add a lot of small branches. Kind of lots of small branches. I'm going to take our big size brush, some more of these paints, and we're going to add leaves. We're going to add some leaves here, just like dubbing, 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 dubbing technique. Don't be dubbing. This one a bit, a bit less paints. cover the areas of branches you don't very happy so remember to leave spots in around okay. here we are we can spread some of this yellow in here make sure you have clean clean brush I'm going to spread some yellow and white just a bit here just just a little bit soften this area maybe some more all right just be careful with black you don't want to touch any black maybe we can add some highlights this area just where sun touch mountains we're gonna add some highlights you can also add some highlight to the tree, just a bit. Here we are, we have our Sunset Avunga Lake painting. Do you like it? If you tried, please send me a picture.